Hey guys, welcome. Yeah, so in this video, I'm going to prove to you why gamma of x is equal to x minus 1 factorial. In a different video, we proved that gamma of n plus 1 is equal to n times gamma of n. From here, uh, it follows that gamma of n is equal to n minus 1 times gamma of n minus 1. And proceeding similarly, we see that gamma of n minus 1 in turn is equal to n minus 2 times gamma of n minus 2. And I'm not going to show it, but gamma of n minus 2 will in turn equal n minus 3 times gamma of n minus 3, right? Okay, cool. And so we go um, in this manner all the way to gamma of 2. Um, because uh, whatever number n is, as we're descending by subtracting 1 each time, we'll eventually get to gamma of 2, right? And so gamma of 2, we would know then, is equal to 2 minus 1 times gamma of 2 minus 1. And we know this, again, just from this first formula that allowed us to write this here and so on, right? Okay, cool. All right, so uh, then if we simplify this, uh, what we're going to get is gamma of 2 is equal to 1 times gamma of 1. And in a different video, I proved that gamma of 1 is equal to 1. Um, and so we're done here. Gamma of 0 is not defined, so we don't need to descend uh, further down beyond gamma of 1. Yeah? Okay, cool. And of course, as I said, making the substitutions uh, for, for example, gamma of n minus 1 with this right-hand side, and then substituting for a gamma of n minus 2 with n minus 3 times gamma of n minus 3, and so on and so forth, uh, we'll see that um, gamma of n is equal to n minus 1 times n minus 2, um, so on and so forth, all the way to 2 times 1, which clearly is equal to n minus 1 factorial. Yeah? Okay, cool. I hope you enjoyed this, and keep watching. Take care.